the cream, I mean the cream in Scotland is real good, you know, and I bought it and I was I went to the checkout and somehow between where the fridge and the checkout, I laid the cream down to look at something and I got to my room and there was no cream either, I'd left it on the room. I thought, this is terrible, eh? mamma mia. <laughs> anyway. Everybody's got everything, folks. Nobody's left anything in the wardrobes, passports, is, we're all good. Good. Good, good, good. I think we do the sightseeing with John after the cathedral around the city so you know exactly where we are. I'll get him to point out restaurants and I'll point out some myself. I'll be up the back of the coach somewhere. I'll point out bits and pieces restaurants for you uh, for tonight because you're free tonight. It means you know where you are in the city. Yeah? The hotel is a very nice hotel. It's just at the start of the West End. It's about a uh, 10 minute walk to the city centre. You can get a taxi in three minutes and you're down there. The taxi's outside the hotel if you wish to do that. It's very, very simple. There are lots of uh, places around about the hotel itself that you'll be able to go and eat uh, if you're so minded. And this is obviously bin day. Do you see the bins are outside of the different colours of bins for the different uh, trash, exactly. Uh, plastic and papers and glass, they're separate. I mean, they're really starting to get very heavy on that. Where I live in France, they've got, actually got um, and when they come to the village, they've got uh, chips in their thing. So if you put the wrong thing and they can see it, they can report you for it and you get fined if you don't put the right thing. So they're taking it very seriously. They, there's a village in Scotland, it was in the papers a couple of years back, it was, and there were big, big ones, and there was quite a lot of old people over there, and they had to get rid of them because some of the old age pensioners were falling into the thing, tipping into the thing, and their legs were kicking out in the air, you know. And so they thought it better just to uh, let it go quite amusing and not for the people stuck in it I'm sure it's quieter and quieter because the younger people they take off they go down to Glasgow or Edinburgh or whatever you know to study at St Andrews and uh, they leave these places so the population ages a bit you know the milkman is the cooperative will show you the cooperative. The cooperative was formed back in the end of the nineteenth um, century, end of the nineteenth century into the twentieth century, and it was people, as you would think, cooperative people coming together and selling their produce under one roof, as it were. The main building you'll see in Glasgow is not far from, or just on the banks. They're quite a fine building. They made a lot of money. But cooperatives, you'll see the shop called the cooperative all over it. There's it all over the place. It started off very small, and now it's. it's pretty big. There's so many supermarkets and things now, you know, and I don't know how they all manage to uh, survive, but they do. The sheep look as if they're getting ready for the shearing, eh? the June, uh, end of June, July will be the shearing time. Yeah. There's a hotel on the right hand side here. Grand European used to use this hotel and, and the pipe band used to rehearse in on the right hand side here in the car park there and it marched through the dining room uh, to entertain the people at night, you know, it was, it was, yeah, the people who weren't used to it loved it, you know, and here is the Newton Moore lollipop man, is it a man or a lady, is that a lollipop, I'm not sure, man I think, is it, is it a lady, oh okay, wouldn't look. I wouldn't want to go home with her with a broken, broken pay packet. She, she'd break your nose. <laughs> Look at that place, the joint's jumping. There we go, so straight on is the back of the motor. We're going to go round to the right towards Spain Bridge. And you'll get a real Highland Road route. Any of you uh, see the uh, BBC programme Monarch of the Glen? Is it some of you do? Yes, was that a no? No? Oh, that's a shame you should see that. It was set here and we passed by, you'll see on the other side of Loch Lagan is, uh, um, is, is the, the castle that the, is a residential castle that they used in the filming of that. When you go back home, get it on Netflix or get it somewhere in the, you know, on your TVs. 
Um, it really is lovely. I mean, it's, it's fun, it's well written. Uh, Ian Carmichael's in it, Susan Hampshire's another actress in it. Yeah, it's a big estate up here somewhere. Even I, I'm, after that, I, didn't, I never ever found it, but I'll look at the little... <laughs> Don't get me killed for some void in the middle of the street. Um, <laughs> and that was it. Louis, Louis, Witten, uh, Louis Whittemont has a place up here. And uh, he argued over the price, the money he's got, and he argued over the price of the sandwiches the guy was making for their lunch. Whoa. That's probably why he has money. Yeah. He opened a new place on the Champs Elysees about, uh, oh, what's this, 10 years ago now, I suppose. And the price of the bags are just incredible. To the left, this is the lodge house they used in the Monarch of the Glen. The estate goes way around and way along to before we actually get to the castle, but that, that's uh, the lodge house. <laughs> Nearly coming into view, you see that at the end there's a bit of blue, just to the left of that is Ben Nevis, the highest point there. It may still lift away. Here's the command of Mon Warrior coming up, you'll see there's this uh, guy's looking across, up and head to our left. There we are, you can see a couple of people there, not too many people. Is it where is it? Oh, that little one can Slightly back. back. Slightly back. back. See, back. back. see, there's a ridge coming up. Yeah. Just during the war. Good. So we're going to go down to the right Fort William. You see the signs? Fort William. Recent ones. On the left hand side there's a blue rectangular shape on the number plate and uh, it's got Espana ES or D for Deutschland or NL for Netherlands, uh, F for France. So you can tell where the, where the people have come from. Eh? There's one there, GB, Great Britain. So it's 
straight on down here folks and uh, we just made the top end of, of the town of Fort William itself look to the there's the old Ben Nevis distillery and they used to have island cattle in the in the field just here on the left sometimes they got some little donkeys and things still yeah I can see the donkeys but uh, and there's some sheep again MS Marks and Spencer's food hall. It's all new out here, Aldi, Aldi again, yep. This is a shocking hotel on the right hand side, shocker. Insight once put us in there and we here we know under left them and it really is a bad hotel. It was so dirty even the mice were wearing overalls. I mean it was terrible there was uh, gee it was So we're we'll stopped just at this roundabout folks here, just we'll go straight ahead across the roundabout and you'll see the, the woolen mill there, it's got the toilets, it's, as you walk in straight ahead to, and slightly to the right of the toilets, to the left is the shops, they yeah, often have some good sales and things in this one, and to the right is the, down to the cafeteria. We do hit kill tile, let's see if we can hire a kill for half an hour. Okay, off we we'll straight across here, we're going to go. There's the entrance on the right, folks, you see. And Kevin will just get us parted to here. The station across to the right here, railway station across to the right. Alexander Hotel on the left, we use that from time to time. Right in there, right at the top of the high street. There's Loch Linney ahead of us, Loch Linney. So this network all the way down, all the way down, we started it yesterday, Loch Ness, Loch Long, Loch Linney, right down to Loch Linney beneath us here. So this is Loch Linney. And the main street of Inverness is uh, uh, Fort William, it's just to your left here folks. You see ahead of us here this white building with the red roof, very good fish restaurant. I have a, a friend and colleague, her name's Gronia uh, O'Malley, an Irish girl, Dublin, great girl, and uh, she brought a group and they actually had a visit in, well they stopped in the town of Fort William and she dropped them off and she thought she'd go and have an hour piece in this nice restaurant, you know, to have lunch. And she went and it was very quiet, she sat down with the menu and she looked at the menu and she ordered a glass of wine and she looked at the top of the menu and the table next to her, there was uh, Mel Gibson sitting at his lunch. So she was absolutely thrilled, she was about an hour late for the bus coming back and thinking, you know, it's a uh, cruiser come up from the water, the Clyde. Okay, so we're going to go down the side of Loch Linney here folks. This always makes me smile. I mean, look at this, you see on the left. Drive on the left, links Farren, Quandrisi a gauche. Stay on the left. How did you get here? Did you arrive from Mars that you suddenly got here? I mean, you got to get. I think the idea is that if you've been somewhere, you've been looking at something of interest to you, you might be distracted and you come out, and then suddenly, you know, you're on the wrong side of the road. You, you let your concentration slip for a little bit, you know? I think that's the, the thinking behind it. So this is way part of the, the, the Great Glen. Again, we're heading down here, folks. Right at the bottom is uh, is down towards the island hall across the other side and there's the little ferry, the Corran ferry.
the Balahulish Hotel. It's real good. It's a nice hotel. I've stayed there many times. It's really old-fashioned, you know, with wood panelling and leather and it, on the right-hand side, I believe, here. But it's really creaky, you know what I mean? That's here. You're going up the stairs and creaking away up the stairs and the floorboards and whatever. No hanky-panky in there, folks. You'll be sure to be found out with the creaky stairs. On the left, you can uh, you see these islands across here. There's three islands across here. Stones, yeah, with all the slate. Here's a Scottish warrior here. It's a memorial, war memorial here on the right. It's a Scottish Gordon Highlander up on the right there. You see him with the, the poppies next Where the house the original settlement should have been and this is the way they tried to escape the poor the poor souls. You can go across and you can take a, a picture, of course. Don't waterfall that comes tumbling down here folks and you'll see it just coming up ahead of us on your right hand side just at the top on the bend here uh, we've had a fair bit of precipitation the last couple of days so it might be gurgling down sometimes in the summer it's pretty quiet pretty mild but other times it really cascades with a vengeance there it is that it's, it's gentle there it's pretty there it's the right you see it all gurgling down there so it comes, and it comes from the left, you see, it goes up there. Here's a, um, a man-made uh, cairn on the left-hand side. We described the cairns to you uh, yesterday, folks. Eh? On the left here, this is uh, just marking the, the end. It's very neat. The, cairn, the real cairns were never as neat as that, believe me.
hizo? This will be, uh, we'll use the washrooms here and you can grab a snack here, you can grab a bowl of soup or sandwich or you can, if it's too early to eat folks, a lot of people what they do, here, look at those dogs playing, isn't that nice? A lot of people what they do is to take a sandwich or a salad or something with them and they can go onto the boat and they can have it on the Loch Lomond as part of the cruise. A lot of people like to do that. Um, the choice is yours. We will have to leave here. I want to leave here at uh, 10 minutes to 1. So that gives us uh, 55 minutes or so. Uh, 50